$135,000. What's going on everybody? My name is Alex Freeberg and today we're going to be taking a look at data analyst salaries. Let's get into it. Now there's lots of websites that you can look up this information, but Glassdoor is the one that I personally found to be the most accurate. And you can adjust it by industry, the company size, years of experience, and the location, which are all really important things for determining how much salary you should expect in your area. But as a whole, the average salary is around $63,000. I think that's very accurate. Now looking at this chart down here, you can see that the low is around 43,000, the average is around 63,000, 62,000, and then the high is around 95,000. And like I said, there's a lot of things that go into that. Because if we're looking at just like zero to one years of experience, it drops dramatically. Now you're looking at the low of $36,000 and the average of $53,000. But if we're looking at more experience, like seven to 9,000, you're looking at a little bit more. And that's completely normal. Obviously when you're first starting out, you're not gonna make as much money. So let's get rid of this real quick and let's look at the company sizes. I think the company size does play a big part in it because if you're working at those like huge Fortune 500 companies, you're gonna make more money. So for companies over 5,000 employees, which are really big companies, you're making just a little bit above the average. And then for really small companies, pretty dramatically underneath the average by about $7,000. And for industry, if you're working at something like a nonprofit, you're gonna make less money than let's say if you're working at like a tech company. And that's to be expected. Nonprofits do not have as much money as giant tech companies. I think the other thing that plays a very large part in this is where you live. So I live in Dallas, Texas. Let's see what the average is there. I think it's pretty on par with what this is. So just 1% above the average. But if we look at somewhere like Palo Alto, and that's Silicon Valley area, the average salary is gonna be significantly higher. 44% above national average. So 63,000 compared to 90,000. So where you live is gonna play a really big impact on what you should be expecting for your salary. If you're living in somewhere like Silicon Valley, you need to make more money because the cost of living is so high. But if you live in some rural area that really doesn't have a lot of people, you can expect to get paid a lot less. So just for fun, let's look at what some of these big companies are paying their data analysts. Facebook is number one with $136,000. That's a really good salary. I would very much enjoy that. Uh, then we have Microsoft, Bank of America, PwC. So some consulting, some insurance, some tech. That's to be expected. Those are those companies that are generating huge, insane revenues. So I think that makes sense why these data analysts are getting paid so incredibly well. So now let's look at some of the highest paying cities. Like I said before, where you live plays a big factor in how much you should expect for your salary. And so in Charlotte, North Carolina, it's apparently around $100,000, which is a lot of money. That's a really good salary. And I used to live in Charlotte, North Carolina, so the cost of living is definitely going up around that area, but $100,000 is a really good salary in Charlotte, North Carolina. I actually moved from Charlotte down to Dallas, Texas down here. But in Washington, 82,000. Arizona, or Phoenix, Arizona, 75,000. So in these areas, you're definitely gonna get paid more. I think they left off all the Silicon Valley cities because they were just outliers because they were so much more than all the other cities. But for the most part, I think these are pretty accurate. So in the end, we've really only been looking at averages today. If you want a more specific answer, I recommend going on a website like this where you can input where you live and find out the average for your area. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.